Hi, Larry here. You're not gonna believe this, but just five minutes ago, our planet was on the verge of total annihilation. In fact, if it wasn't for me, well, let me tell you what happened. Earlier tonight, I was trying to pick up foreign stations on my shortwave radio, when suddenly I started receiving a weird signal. Hey, Loopy, come and listen to this. The frequency is too high to be coming from anywhere on Earth. It must be a message from outer space. Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. Let's try slowing it down a little. <laughs> Woohoo! There is intelligent life out there. This is Larry from planet Earth. Do you read me? Over. Over. That won't work. You gotta speak their language. Ah. Well, welcome, space travelers. Uh, we, we the people of the planet Earth bring greetings. Well, we the people of planet Earth bring a jumbo bag of munchies and a cooler full of fizzy pop. Where's the Earthling who sent us the message? Right here. Salutations, fellow Belcher. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. What's so great about burping anyway? What's so great? Don't be a dingbat. It's the reason we're all here, mate. You see, 60 billion years ago, this entire galaxy was set in motion by humongous burp reverberating out from a central point in the universe. We call it the Big Burp Theory. Only the most advanced creatures in the cosmos truly understand it. That's why when you responded to our signal, we knew that your planet was worth a visit. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this party started. <laughs> Yep, it was the party of a lifetime. The only bummer was, no matter how hard I tried, I was still having trouble communicating. Well, Loopy, we really are taken with your little planet. I think our people are gonna love it here. You mean there's more of you? 50 billion more to be exact. Up there in the mothership, just waiting for our signal to come on down and join the fun. We've been looking for a place like this to colonize for eons. Uh, cool. But what's wrong with your planet? Well, it's completely trashed, isn't it? A hundred thousand centuries of non-stop partying have reduced our planet to rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe this isn't such a good idea. European scout to mothership? No! Ah, now you're being a party pooper. Our party was beginning to look like a close encounter of the worst kind. But just then, I finally started to feel the effects of the soda gas bubbling up inside of me. Problem was, when it finally popped out, I was speaking the wrong language. Disgusting! And we thought you lot were a civilized species. Sorry, Loop. Couldn't possibly share a planet with people what's capable of that kind of behavior. Come on, mate. Back to the mothership. And so, thanks to yours truly, the alien forces were defeated. <laughs> Once more, the people of Earth can breathe easily. Well, most of them, anyway. P.U. <laughs> Thank you.